Yeah, man. Power on five point one, world famous DJ Clue Desert Storm, the boy Roddy Rich in the building. What up, baby? What's the deal? What's the deal? Yo, man. Welcome back to New York, man. I, I know uh, it's kind of you know <laughs> what I'm saying, bittersweet with New York, man, with you, yeah, man. Yeah, um, come on. But uh, you know what I mean, like. A lot of people go through things, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Learn experience, man. You know what I'm saying? So, let's talk about the new project, man. Feed the Streets 3. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. How long it took you to put that together? <clears throat> took a couple of months. Yeah, yeah. But okay. it was a work in progress, though, over the years. You feel me? A word? Yeah. You have songs from a little bit back and new stuff on there? Mm -hmm. Nigga went through the old catalog and just felt the vibe and kind of just curated the new vibe. You know what I'm saying? Because I know right. new shit and just done been through new shit. So, it's like I got to translate them both you feel me now and no pun intended coming out the box swinging like that with a, a hit record like the box man yeah you set the ball real high for yourself man yeah do you feel like you know what I'm saying like when you go in the studio you're like yo man i gotta i gotta make one even crazier than that i mean i feel like it was a constant build you feel me just coming from <clears throat> feed the streets too you know you had die young you had every season you had down below you feel me all these multiple platinum you know yeah, shit, coming off a mixtape, you feel me? Then you had the album. I think the whole album certified. You know what I'm saying? I think we're waiting on one single, but the whole album certified. So, you know, it ain't. I really be competing with myself. You feel me? It just be like certain songs outside, outshine others, but for the most part, nigga just be steady pacing. That, that's a good problem to have, though, man. Yeah. Having, you know what I'm saying, a huge record and then also having other records that are hot and just trying to, you know, go back in and, and, and vibe out. And, yeah, you know what yeah. Saying? It just it just be more so about keeping it going. You feel me? And, and just keeping the vibes high. That's all it be about. Talking about Cali, man, like, it's been a lot of stuff going on, like, in the streets in Cali, man. Yeah. Like, when you're out there, man, how do you try to move and, and stay out the way, man, and not get in trouble or get into situations where, like, you know what I mean? People are coming at you in the wrong light, man. I feel like first, first thing, first... I always got to pray, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's like the first thing. And then shit just, <clears throat> ever since I was young, though, I mean, I'm young, but ever since, like, tight, like, middle school, high school, I always been just move a little different. Like, just right. always watch the older cats, like, mistakes they make and just move a little different from a young nigga in my position. You feel me? Like, I always just kind of just watch the field, play a little different. Now you coming from Cali, man? What would you say to other, you know, entertainers coming out there, man? Like how they should move, man? I feel like just just always be careful, but that's everywhere they go. You feel me? That's everywhere we go as a unit. Like everybody just got to be more careful and you know just stay prayed up. Really, like I feel like God conquer all. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you could be. Wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, it, and you know, but at the end of the day, it's just, you know, I feel like God conquer all, though. <laughs> nah, no good. doubt, no doubt. Yeah. Now, you got the uh, the single with Lil Durk. Yeah. Shot the video. How was that, man? Yeah, it's hard. Shit, it's out now. Twin. That's my boy. That's my twin. Durk Shit, is funny, my... man. So, like, <laughs> people don't be knowing, like, you know what I mean? With him, it's constant jokes all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if you know yeah, him, you yeah, getting that vibe yeah, with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He good he cat, always, man. Yeah, yeah. That's how the video was, though. He was laughing, just kicking it. Right, right. Like, but it's always been like that. Like, he he was one of the few out of town, not from L.A., that really accepted me early. Like, right. really was up hip to the music early and really was, like, giving me guidance and, like, different little things early. So, I appreciate it. You probably don't that. even remember this, man. Like, um, I seen you when, when Meek was out there for a long time. You was at the crib. Yeah. You was like, we was playing basketball in the background. You yeah. showed, like, a little video. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I always, yeah. But I always, you know, I always give my props to Meek, though, too. It just, you know, shit, niggas eat growing up. You feel me? Nah, That's of all course. Of as far as with the whole Canada situation, man. Oh, yeah. I've had that problem myself, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I think I went out there for All Star, had all my paperwork set up. Yeah. They still had me sitting there for three hours, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think it was just more so, I just was tired of, like, going through shit. Like, I done been there before and <clears throat> got my shit together. They let me through. And then, shit. I think the last time I went was rolling roll out Toronto. I had to do a whole FBI background investigation shit. So I did that just to go and get my little money. Right. And when I went again to Vancouver, they was still, I had all the paperwork from like a month ago. They still tripping. So I, I'm, first of all, I'm on my tour bus and if we sleep in the back, my lady in the back, you know what I'm saying? Huh? Like, they trying to wake us up. 
I ain't really got clothes on. Like I got my underwear on. Like and, right. Like, it, you got two minutes to get out. Like saying just crazy shit. So Word. I put my clothes on. She get decent. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Then we get off the bus. So I'm already tripping because I'm like. Y'all already disrespecting the nigga, and y'all coming on my shit. Like, I ain't came across y'all border yet. Like, right. y'all already disrespecting. So, when I went in there, I gave them the paperwork. I ain't say nothing. And then they just overdoing it, just asked me all the questions I don't know the answers to. I'm like, that's why I got lawyers. Like, talk to the lawyers. Like, right. they still tripping. When the lawyer get on the phone, though, they ain't had nothing to say. Like, they couldn't really be combative with them because they know what they're talking about. So, then, boom, I get back to the desk. And I'm asking them like, what's the, what's the real problem? And they tell me like, basically it's up to them to let me in. It's up to whoever is the officer at the gate to let me in. So I'm like, like I don't wanna, you feel me? Like right, I was right. already tripping. Like, so I'm like, shit, either y'all gonna let me in or y'all not. So we going back and forth on that. And I'm just like, look, like I ain't even going, you feel me? Yeah, I ain't mad at that. This just a little sign. Like I probably shouldn't even come like, so the crazy part about it is, man, like they had me there for three hours and then they made me pay three hundred dollars. Oh, to come in. Yeah, they could have just did yeah. that from the start. Like, hey, y'all want the money? Just say you want the money. It's yeah. cool. Like, I'm yeah. not mad at that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Everybody yeah. gotta make their money. But the time, yeah. Yeah, the but time. the time what, is like the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had, I had matter of fact, I had a gig that day and um, I ended up being late to the gig, so it ended up costing me like a couple yeah. thousand dollars. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's different in Canada, man. You gotta yeah. holler at Drake, man. Maybe Drake could. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He got the connect. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I'll be, you know, tapping in every now and again, but you no know doubt. how it go. Now, with this project, man, Feed the Streets 3, man, what did you want to capture, man, that you didn't get to capture, like, on, on the last project? I just felt like we just having fun, you know, and it's it's a reset, too. Like, a nigga being able to just have fun, be in a new vibe, and just get back to the basics. You feel right. me? Like, that's, that's mainly what the point of it was, just getting back to the basics. This is how we started. You feel me? We want to just regroup a little bit, just have fun with it a little more. Now, who you got on the project? I think Ty Dolla Sign's on there, right? Yeah, it was only a few. I felt the uh, the second one and the first one. I ain't had no major features or nothing on the second one. I ain't had nobody on it at all. That was kind of what the aim was gonna be this time again, but you know, just fucking with certain niggas like fuck with Dirk, put him on there. If, if it was somebody that I, I wanted to put on the on the second one, it would have been him. Right. So I was like, I'm going to put Dirk on this, and then me and Ty, we cook all the time. So that was Oh, where y'all be? Y'all going y'all gonna to do a, a joint project song? With me and Ty, we got enough music, too. We just be, you feel me? Like right. like West Coast type shit. You feel me? Like just, we always be in the studio. We always be right. working this shit. Y'all working at his crib? Nah, we be in the studio. Okay. I don't, I don't be, you know, I don't, I don't be like. No, nah, he got, he, he, he got cribs, but crib. I, I just, you know, me, I, I don't, you know, yeah. I don't like to invade nobody's space. You right, right. Me? Like, I be in the studio because I don't want nobody pulling up at my house either. So, right. Now, I now speaking about houses, man. man, um, you just put your house on the market, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You trying to yeah. move somewhere else? What you doing? It just wasn't big enough for me. You feel oh, me? Oh, excuse me. Like, nah, for real, real problem. Like, I put all my clothes in all the closets, still didn't fit. You feel me? So I'm like. Yeah. I'm trying to be like humble with it, like, all right, I'm gonna just spend this much on the house and be cool, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I can't, it's ain't for me, like, I don't right, ever right. be home, but when I come home, like, this shit ain't big enough. I'm used to having like high rise, my room is a whole closet, you right. feel me? Not like that, but that's just how it is. So. Yeah, I did that too. I had to give it up a bedroom and just make it into a straight walk in because, yeah. like, you know, with the sneakers and the. But it was a lot of shit with that shit. Like, it was the drive. What, I, was, I was just saying, I was like, this ain't for me. What area are you trying to trying to um, invade now, man? I don't know. You know, I Calabasas done, I done, or something like everybody else? I did that too. I done did Calabasas. I done did Beverly Hills. I done lived every, like, kind of everywhere in LA I could. Like, I feel like now. <clears throat> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna do something special with the money from the house cuz I ain't I ain't gonna just take it out and go buy another one. I'm gonna do something special with that money. You feel me? I'm gonna reinvest it, do something special with it. I think I'm gonna relocate though. I'm gonna do a whole little relocation, but I'm just thinking about it. As you get older and going for man like you think about investments and are uh, we been nigga been on that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nigga been on that like I had wrecked my first car, I wrecked my Hellcat. And after I wrecked my Hellcat, I'm like I need to go give me something a little more stable, like put my money a little other places because it was like I felt like I only had cars and jewelry and shit like that. Right. Like, fuck it. So my mom, she had a friend. Uh, her dad was like, OG been doing the real estate for a long time. Got like 50 units, 60 units, like different apartments. That's crazy. So he like, uh, I got this spot in Compton. Like, 
get it from me. Like, I got that from me, then I just start getting other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why some other shit other places. But I started with that one, and then my mom just been helping me get all the rest of it. You know what I'm saying? Just that's you know, dope, man. Family business is always good, yeah. man. Yeah. Now, um, I seen Hip Boy make a comment about, yeah. you know, what I'm saying he, I guess he felt the type of way because you know certain West Coast artists weren't working with him as much. How you felt about that? Yeah. We, we got a lot of music. You know what I'm saying? Like we got a lot of music together. You know what I'm saying? So I was kind of confused about it. Like, we got Adam Pooh. Did y'all get to speak? I mean, like, briefly. Like I just let him say whatever. Like, I ain't saying nothing. Like, right, right. I just, I don't know. I don't really be on the media with niggas. You feel me? Right, yeah, yeah. I got a lot of music with him, and if it come out, it do. If not, you know what I'm saying? We blessed to have a Grammy together, and I'd be thankful for shit like that. Cause, where I, you know what I'm saying? Right. Niggas don't get that. So, I make a lot of music. There's probably a lot of producers that feel that way, but, you know, I feel like people don't, you know. I, I always feel like, you know, when it comes to artists and producers, and, and I mean, I, I produce myself too, like, but I always feel like, you know, like once a, a artist finds a, a producer he work when he finds a sound he kind of like to stick to yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. what he's used to and what help right. him get to where he was at you right. know what i'm saying right. so it, i don't i don't take it personal when people be like oh i got my producer or you know what i'm saying like, i mean i just feel like as west coast niggas we shouldn't even we should we should always handle certain things without the cameras on that's just right, me right. though you feel me? like i never you never can get out my body about nobody from where i'm from and that's what i gotta say about that yeah, cause I, I mean, I, I like I seen discussions on Clubhouse with you, and you know what I'm saying, like yeah, but that was different. Nigga was attacking my character. Right, right. You feel me? It's only a few things you got in this world, and your name is one That's of them. That's it. And if a nigga from your spot is talking kind of crazy, you gotta gotta kind of say something. I probably didn't have to, but I just felt like I needed to in that moment. But like, I'm saying like on some industry, you feel me? Like yeah. on some industry shit. If we represent the same place, and we trying to have a common goal here, we trying to all like work together like i've been working with like kaylin for real you know what i'm saying he's somebody from the west right working with bino working with blast working with all the young niggas that's coming up we trying to make a different we trying to set a different tone and set a different approach for this shit. i don't really i don't really do well with that you feel me? right right not for yeah. you now as far as with roddy rich man you don't do a lot of press man you know what i'm saying that's yeah. everyone know that man you know what i'm saying like <laughs> Cause I, I was even talking with uh my guy Sam. I'm like, yo, like when he come up, I want to ask him about like, what does Roddy Rich do? Like, you know what I'm saying? In his spare time, like, what like <laughs> video? Is it video games? Nah, is it sports? Hell like, nah. What you get into, man? I don't. Uh, I mean, shit. I record a lot. Oh, I, I be recording a lot. Um, no recreation, man. Like no. Uh, yacht, yacht, yachting, char chartering yachts. That's what we do. <laughs> that's that's a good thing. <laughs> you know I mean? Shit like that. Down there all the Sundays, we be doing that. We get on the water, chill, uh, spend a lot of time with like my family, my brother. I spend way more time with him. He owns school now, so I would want my, my brother a lot. <clears throat> uh, you you went to fashion? Cause I be seeing you like you know what I'm saying. Like lately, I've been trying to yeah step my foot in the game. You yeah, I've been do, seeing you switching it up. You know what I'm saying? Shit, so yeah, I mean shopping for show, sure, shopping for show. Sure, what's what's some of your favorite designers right now? Uh, Rude, uh, Rude is one of them for show. Sure. Um. That's a, that's a good question. Who else I be fucking with, man? I think my favorite right now is probably Rick Owens, man. Rick Owens fucking be with having, the Rick for sure. Yeah, he be having sure a lot of, be a lot of vibes. Shit. Marnie be cool too. Marnie be, yeah. it be they be having a little shit like you might could put a, a shirt with these and mix it up. You feel me? But right, right, fuck right. with the fuck with the Marnie. Balenciaga been cool. They flew me out to Paris last year. I, I was gonna ask you if you ever thought about doing like you know what I'm saying some of the fashion shows and stuff like that, man. Like fashion meet New York. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's all about direction though. You feel me? You don't never want to go into it just blindly like, all right, I'm gonna just do this because they telling me yeah, I'm cool on this. Like, I be kind of trying to learn about it. Like, what's the, what what's the story behind this creative? What did he? You know what I'm saying? What is the story behind how he put these clothes together? Why did you know what I mean? Like, right, right. I be kind of trying to know so. When I step in the room, I ain't just no ignorant nigga trying to throw your clothes on. Like, it's like I wanna yeah. kind of be able to talk to you a little bit. You feel me? No doubt. For and sure. you had some endorsements I seen. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, getting to the bag is a good thing, man. Like, yeah. do, do you like have to like pick and choose? Like, cause I know like with artists, like they have a lot of people coming at them at the same time trying right. to get them to do different things. Like, how do you pick and choose? Like, I feel like the, the do? main thing with me, like, <clears throat> and yeah, like been doing a couple of little partnerships you feel me nothing nothing too major but like i feel like the main thing with me is like i always want to have you know ownership of what i'm doing because 
it's like if i'm if i'm bringing value to the company then i i feel like i should reap the benefits of the back end instead of like just you just giving me some money and then right then y'all making all the money you know yeah. so <clears throat> just with like i feel like it's small things that i've been doing like little little things that i've been just planting my seeds and shit and and, and we've been having good conversations good business meetings you know what i'm saying and just making sure this shit gonna stick type shit because i had this that. water company i was gonna do but it just something didn't happen right it was like some other shit didn't happen but it's just doing little things like that that may not be the ideal thing that an artist would do artists would take the check and just go right. it's like i'd rather bet on myself and fail or win because it's like if i fail then i i learned something you know what i'm saying like okay maybe i do this different or do something different but if i win then shit everybody gonna oh shit he did something that niggas ain't you know what i mean so nah for sure it's sure. a good risk to take you nah me? definitely Yo, man, I got that. He be coming through, man. Of course, man. Feed the Streets 3 is out right now. We're going to get to that joint with you and Lil Dirk. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to tell people something about the project, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit. Spin that motherfucker. Just listen to it. <laughs> shit. I ain't tripping. You know, Feed the Streets 3 out now, but it's more on the way. You know? That's for sure. And look, man. Roddy Rich do got love for New York, man. He came through. He pulled up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> in the coat. I'm, I'm going to have to get him to give me one to feed the streets chains. You know what I'm saying? With the fork <laughs> and the plate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's all love. It's Power 105.1, Clue Radio, Desert Storm Radio. Keep it locked right here, y'all.